Hey, how's it going guys? My name is CircleTunes HD, but you can call me Circle. I'm here on the leaderboard to bring you something totally top secret. But first, I gotta ask, do you guys play Rainbow Six Siege? Because oh my god do I do. I play it almost every day. There is something so special about coming up with new strategies and having fun with friends in this game. I mean, the experience really is unique. Even if you kind of suck at the game like I do. I also love when the game releases new operators. It's super fun figuring out all their strengths and weaknesses and how they impact the game in their own way. I mean, just look at Clash. It's like they found a Pikachu and gave her a bulletproof shield and a gun. <laughs> and boy howdy do I love every second of it. Even the simple operators like Sledge, wait, 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 this guy's gadget is he brought in a hammer? Wait, who let this guy in? How is this an ability? So what about you, Vigil? What do you do? I use extremely sophisticated technology and scan the immediate area to take my image off of drones and cameras to give me the ultimate stealth advantage. And you, Sledge, what do you bring to the team? <laughs> to be honest, I, I just brought this hammer from my house and I, I plan to break some walls with it, sir. Wow, that's, that's great. Thanks, Sledge. You're... You're really helping, you're really, you're doing your best, and that's what matters. You know, the more I think about it, Siege operators are getting more and more crazy with every new one. I mean, we started out with people like Rook, who had a box of vests, and now we got people like Alibi, who throws holograms of herself. There really isn't a limit to how crazy these operator gadgets can be. I mean, look at Jackal, he has a brain helmet that essentially sees into the past. Now, if you like Siege operators as much as I do, you're gonna love this next part, because I secured information on all all of the next siege operators that are in development. Don't ask how I got it, it's crazy information and people might be hunting me down for it, but know that this is all totally 100% uh, true. <laughs> First on our list is a new one armor, three speed attacker that will be joining Ash, Thermite, Castle, and Pulse on the SWAT team. And this new operator goes by Termite. Just like his older brother, Jordan Trace, also known as Thermite, he is well equipped to get through enemy defenses. He can't put huge holes in fortified enemy walls, but what he can do is unleash his swarm of hundreds of thousands of termites to eat away at enemy wooden walls. With the defending team only being able to fortify a certain part of the map, you can dominate the rest of the map that's unfortified and eat through everything that is made out of wood with your bug buddies. In addition to his wood hungry horde, he is also equipped with an M4 shotgun and a G36C assault rifle modified to propel termites instead of bullets. Missed a few shots and hit the wall behind the enemy? Don't worry, the termites hiding in the shell casings will slowly eat away at the wall themselves to make new murder holes. Termite will definitely make the enemy team rethink their strategy. Wooden walls that were once defenses become food in an instant. Now let's move on to our next totally real, 100% true, leaked siege operator. This brand new, slow moving, three armor, one speed defense operator is joining the Navy SEALs and he is simply known as Gun. If you're tired of operators only having a primary and secondary weapon, you can click in the middle mouse button to activate Gun's gadget. His tertiary minigun. Run out of ammo on both of your regular guns? Oh snap, that's where gun comes in handy. His third gun has just enough ammo to get the job done. Now I know what you're thinking. Circle, isn't three guns a little silly? Well, you know what? No, it isn't. It's cool. Shut up. This new operator can confuse the enemy team simply by using his ability. When they hear you run out of ammo with your primary and secondary gun, that's when it's time to use your gadget and give them that final surprise to secure that victory. Now I know what you're thinking. With all those powerful defense tools, we must have something on the attacker side to counteract that, right? Joining Dokabi and Vigil in the 7th 07th SMB is this two armor, two speed attacker. Some call him alarmingly silent, others extremely capable, but you can call him Glide. In addition to the two normal attacker drones he starts with, he also is equipped with two extra drones under his feet that he rides around on. Fallen teammates can get a lower viewpoint and scan the surrounding area to find enemies you may have missed. Staying true to his name, Glide almost makes no sound when moving. You can only hear the sounds of the little wheels trying to get upstairs. But be careful, your drone shoes do have a battery life, and if you ever find yourself running out of batteries, you might need to exit the map to go to the store to get more. Let's hope they have a sale on batteries, but knowing Ubisoft, there probably won't be a sale on anything. Glide is also incredible at taking down spawn peekers, because in addition to the red dot and normal ACOG, he's also the first operator to have the double ACOG. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> Compared to the normal ACOG that offers a times four magnification, this double ACOG offers a times eight. That's that's pretty crazy. That you you can basically see into other maps with that. Sorry, Bandit and Jaeger, you don't deserve any ACOG because you're supposed to be defending, not breaking windows, looking at the spawn, and waiting for people to run in. That's a little rude. So no, you don't get any ACOG. You you can't have your dessert until you eat your vegetables. Our next operator is definitely out of this world. Being the first operator from the United States Space Force comes Horizon. Sporting an extremely fashionable spacesuit and equipped with very cool laser weapons, you could say he's the star of the show. <laughs> know, what, know what I'm saying? Um, alright, uh, on to the next part. I'm sorry about that. Because his weapons use lasers instead of bullets, he can actually go through shields and slowly damage the targets. Slowly heating up things like Blitz's shield will slowly turn their fingers into fish sticks in no time. Even though he's just a normal three armor, one speed defender, he will not be able to wear Rook's vests. It can't fit over the spacesuit, you dingus. Don't bring it up with him, alright? He thinks it's because of his weight problem, and it's not that. He gets really defensive. Please don't bring it up. Because his weapon is a little different than others and entirely tech-based, Twitch drones can deactivate it if they manage to land a shot on it. Horizon also has the unique ability to enter the vacuum of space without succumbing to its cold, dark death grips. Now, in any other circumstance, that wouldn't really matter, right? Because all the maps currently in Rainbow Six Siege take place here on Earth. But with the addition of Horizon, we're also adding a new DLC map called Moon. That's right, it's the moon. You thought terrorists were just a thing on Earth? Nope, moon terrorists exist. Space terrorists, alien terrorists, they're all here and Horizon's here to kick their freaking butts. Wow, we made it to the bottom of the list. That's all of the leaked operators that I found on this official Ubisoft piece of paper. Wow, I can't, I can't believe it. We got through them all and they're all 100% real. Can you believe it? If these leaked siege operators never come to fruition, I feel like we got pretty close considering Echo has a drone that can go invisible and shoot sound beams. Like, what? What is this thing? What am I looking at? But in all seriousness, I love Siege. I love it to death, and I can't wait to see all the new operators that Ubisoft comes up with. And if you, the lovely viewer that's watching this video, love Siege operators as much as I do, please comment down below your own custom Siege operator creation, and you can make them as silly or stupid or cool as you like, and I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with. Now get out there and burn some holes through walls with Maverick and become the bulletproof Pikachu that you've always wanted to be with Clash. And if you like this video and you like gaming related stuff, visit my channel if you like, Circle Tunes HD, and stick here on the leaderboard for even more fun gaming videos. Have a good one guys!